You mentioned that you have hip and pelvic pain, and I'd like to address both separately. When you're pregnant, if you have constant lower back aches, one of the things we'd be concerned about is preterm labor. So my suggestion is that you bring this up with your doctor at your next appointment, or if you're concerned enough about it, you should go to labor and delivery and be checked out. Other symptoms of preterm labor are constant lower abdominal cramping, um, or maybe you just have a constant lower back ache, increase in vaginal discharge, or spotting and bleeding. If you have any of these things, then you should definitely go get checked out. As for the pelvic pain, it's normal to have this during pregnancy because your brain releases a hormone called relaxin. The acts on the joint that connects your pelvis in the front over the pubic bone and relaxes that joint in efforts to increase the size of your inner pelvis so that the baby can fit through a delivery. So just tell yourself that you're, it's your body's way of trying to help you when you have your baby. Um, if it's any more than just you know a slight discomfort in your pelvis or a, a tender pubic bone, then you should mention it to your doctor and see if there's anything else the doctor would like to do about it. Um, as for how to get rid of these pains, like I said, if you suspect that you have preterm labor symptoms, get checked out because we want to stop those contractions. That's in essence what that pain is or can be. Um, and as for the hip pain, it's one of those things that you just may have until you deliver. But the doctor can suggest things like over-the-counter medications, and you can also try a, a heating pad in your back and um, maybe just like relax in the bath and see if that helps it go away. I hope these tips have been helpful and if they have then recommend us to your friends and family on Facebook too.